Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we are back with some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Yeah, it's Harrigan the Ev Evocator. Harrigan the Evocator. How do you pronounce that exactly? We, uh, we got the new title though, we're no longer the fetishist. That's good. I knew it was just a phase. We're a halfling artificer of Gozag though. Yeah, I'm not so sure I like that new title, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I guess we needed to make it up to 21 evocations, that's good. But you know what, let's see, let's, let's unfocus evocations for now and maybe let one of these other things surpass it. I think we might even unfocus air magic too, just because I really want to focus on getting up to level 9 singularity. I really feel like that's our focus for the end game here. Cool, yeah, so that's interesting. I'm glad we, we're not a fetishist anymore, but let's see, maybe we can get up to be more of a translocator or something like that. Anyway, I have not recorded in a few days because this is actually the first recording I'm making in my new home here so that's pretty cool right I've, I've moved since the last video so that's always exciting and exhausting and uh yeah i'm hoping there's not too much noise here i think there might be a little bit more ambient noise but i did a couple tests and it seems to be fine and uh i'm also hoping that all of my dungeon crawl skill was not just like contextual pavlovian environmental cues <laughs> from being in my old place so hopefully i'll still retain all of my skill so I was thinking about our next course of action. We had just made our way through Zot. That was pretty cool. Here we are at the bottom of Zot 4. What are we going to do next? Well, I was looking at my spells, first of all. I know we had a bunch of cool spells that we wanted to learn from the Akashic Record. And, uh, you know, we don't have too many spell levels to do it. I was happy with Dispersal, but we were thinking of things to forget. Here's my plan, I think. We could forget Gale's Gravitas. But I think what I'm going to do is forget Passage of Galubria. Because Passage of Calubria is basically just like a warm-up for a controlled blink. So let's see how many amnesias we got left. We got tons of amnesias left. Is that really the closest one in our stash? Okay, well, let's go and do that, I guess. Yeah. Let's go and kill this guy first. I'm trying to remember all the various tools that we have at our disposal. Throw up. Oh, wait, are we standing in noxious fumes? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Kill this guy, right? What's with this guy? Can airstrike that guy, maybe? Yeah, we'll just airstrike him a couple of times and he's dead. And then this guy can disappear to somewhere. Who cares where? Alright, yeah, I gotta warm get warmed up here a little bit. Haven't played in a couple of days. Yeah, I just set up my computer, just got Wi-Fi not too long ago. It was a very satisfying feeling, obviously. You get Wi-Fi. Ooh, okay, this is a bunch of guys. Well, we missed these guys before. I wonder if they just spawned. Um, let's uh, go invisible, right? That's what it's here for. We also are missing our repel missiles. I should have noticed that. Let's go invisible first. Cool. And then I'll cast repel missiles for sure. Now we'll definitely get up some clouds and just go nuts on these guys. Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. Maybe I should have just gone invisible against that last Q as well. He's going to try to poison us, but unsuccessfully. Completely futile. Everybody got annihilated. Yeah, that's how you annihilate. And they didn't even know what hit him. Alright, cool. So back to what we were doing. Grab that amnesia and let's do that. Because I feel like the next course of action, basically, you know, controlled blink is not going to be that useful. Because the only place where it's really going to be useful is pandemonium. But I think that's where we're going next. I feel ready for pandemonium. I'd rather go to pan than tomb right now or hell. I think we'll probably save hell for last just so it'll be maximum strength. We can really make our bribes go pretty far. But, um,. Yeah, so we'll pick up the amnesia. Nope, we'll drop the rock clowns, pick up the amnesia, read the amnesia. Forget Passage of Galubria. Alright, I forget to, I, I hate to forget a Galubria spell. But I feel like Galubria basically wrote Controlled Blink anyway. So, we're cool. We're cool, Galubria. I'm gonna go read your book right now. Study on this a little bit, learn the powers of controlled blink, because I was sort of regretting not learning it a couple of times in Zot. It can just really come in handy, and if we have controlled blink at 1%, I mean, there's no excuse not to use it. It can save our life. It'll be a little bit of food, but, you know, I mean, one bread ration to save your life sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So there we go. Spell assigned to H, no thanks. So let's change that to capital B. That makes sense to me. All right, and yeah, next thing to do is to go into Pan, right? One way. Oh, we should take the Orcish portal, I guess. That'd be pretty cool. But this one's way closer. All right, going in. 
Is there anything that we needed here? 14 meat rations. Were there any more meat rations? No, any more bread rations. 14 meat rations I think should be fine for now. I think we could probably just open a food shop and pan if we needed to. But this should last us for a while. Alright. So I guess we're good to go. Resistance is looking pretty good. Ready to basically take all comers. I don't really have a plan for dealing with the pan lords. I'm just going to improvise. <laughs> so here we go. Jumping in now. Yes. Now. Here we are in Pandemonium. All right, I hope it's not too awful. If it is, I guess we'll leave. Maybe I should have warmed up a little bit more first. But there's gold in here and a chaos spawn. Okay. So, whoops. I feel corrupt for a moment, but not too long, hopefully. I think that should be a magic MR resistible spell, I hope. Come on, get over here. All right, just throw my buffs. Let's see how I can do just tabbing these these guys. There's Shadow Demon croaking at us. Yeah, you're going to blink away or whatever. We got to take out this Shadow Demon would be great. I'm just going to see how I can do fighting against the denizens of Pan. I mean, I just want to see how I'll fare in a typical situation, you know? Like, there's a Shadow Fiend is summoned. Okay, that's ridiculous. I, I don't think you can summon a higher tier demon, right? That doesn't really make sense. But there, now now you're gone. Okay. Yeah, that worked. That sort of worked, right? Oh, he corrupted us. He, he can cast the spell sort of like the Wretched Stars can. I remember. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, another cure mutation would be great. We would love to fund a potion shop. But I'm trying to save my ducats a little bit. I mean, we have just enough right now if we theoretically wanted to bribe all four branches of hell. So maybe we should use that as our baseline. And then fund from there. We get a couple thousand more, we'll fund another shop. Okay, so far Pan does not seem to be doing us too badly, right? We're doing okay. All well, these shadow demons definitely seems to be a shadow demon heavy floor. Yeah, he's gesturing and like summoning these guys, right? Oh, he's corpse armored, what? So Hellwings can cast that Sigvuti's uh, embrace or whatever. Where'd you get the corpses from? The corpses can't be very fresh. All right, that guy seems, maybe, might be summoned. Yeah, so he's, he's summoning guys. So let's uh, airstrike you a couple of times. Yeah, because he's going to keep doing that otherwise. How many airstrikes does it take to get to the center of a shadow demon? A one. <laughs> a two. Three. It's probably more than that. I stabbed him a couple of times too. I cheated. But so did the owl. A murky orange potion. What do you think about that? Do you think it might... Well, it's not going to be cure mutation. We should definitely identify it. I mean, it could be, like, uh, experience, or it could be beneficial mutation. Let's identify this. It is beneficial mutation. Man, I want to carry this. I mean, I, I wish I had a cure mutation so I could capitalize on, on it. Scroll of Fear? Honestly, is that really going to help us at this stage of the game? No demons can even, like, be affected by fear, honestly. Let's just drop the fear. Drop the fear, and then we'll take the Ring of Shaolin. Even though we never use it. I like having it. It glitters nicely. It's my precious. <laughs> we'll go and throw it in a volcano later if we find one. Okay, we can just tab through these guys pretty easily. Our plus nine quick playing blade gets the job done. Sometimes. Yeah, okay, I'll throw out my buffs just to be able to... There we go. Make sure that I don't get hit by an iron shot or something like that. Maybe I should avoid throwing up warp weapon unless I have to, because I feel like the flaming is pretty good. Oh, my vision blurs. Oh, I don't like that at all. Nice. He's devoured by reality, but my vision is still blurry. He doesn't help my vision. Got, like, onion juice in my eyes or something like that. What are you doing? Why are you doing that to me? Why are you, like, throwing rocks? <laughs> it seems like a ridiculous thing for a demon spawn to be doing. Highly undignified. All right, let's just jump through. All right, you know, I mean, that's my strategy for dealing with Pan. Don't even worry about the Demonic Rune. You'll probably just happen upon the Demonic Rune eventually. Just keep jumping from place to place until you find one of the important places. So let's just go through. Okay. <laughs> like this, for example. We teleported, like, immediately onto the lair of a Pandemonium Ward. I don't suppose you're guarding a Pan Rune, are you? 
this gate leading to other regions, but this place seems terrible, right? I think this calls for a controlled blink away from this situation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to fight them. I mean, it's, it's theoretically possible we could have gone for, like, a stab in there. But I feel like maybe we should just jump out through the abyss. I'm glad to know that that exists over there. If I start airstriking, they're probably going to come at me. Let's jump over here. See if we can find another way to, to go. Skulls teleportation. Okay, that's something. Ruined helmet. Also something. But I don't know if it's really something too important. We already have a pretty good ruined helmet. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I was cowardly. Maybe I should have gone for that stab there. But do you see he was being flanked by like two Hellions and a bunch of other guys? Like two Hellions can, can ruin your day extremely quickly. And here's another way out anyway. If there was a rune, I might have reconsidered. But look, there's a bunch of ways out. They can just continue to, to chill, not even know that there was an interloper in their midst. Cool. A ruined door, you say? A ruined door. Well, there's money over there. Okay, Balrog coming around here. He can throw fireballs, I believe. So let's do this. We gotta warp our weapon against these fire creatures. I don't feel too concerned because we have the excellent fire resistance. Okay, but he can get... We're getting smitten. Here's a elephant. So this is definitely like a fire-themed area. This is fine, though. I mean, the only thing that hurt us was the smite. I mean, the fire is not even an issue. Good, my vision sharpens. Good. You can just get killed, Mr. Lacoropoloptorus. Yeah, alright, I can barely see you. That I got you. I got you nonetheless. So should I open up this door? Yeah, the rune door is very tempting. Hmm. Vampiric Demon Trident. Pretty neat. I guess I'll clear out all this riffraff first in case we have to beat a hasty retreat. Like, there's Nice Fiend, you know? So what do we do about that? I mean, we've got well, some cold resistance. Should I just try to airstrike it a couple of times? I guess. Airstrike. 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 Let's try to throw up evasion at least. Okay, airstrike him some more. How many airstrikes does it take? I mean... Oh. Okay, these airstrikes are helping. I feel like I should just keep using airstrikes until you die. Okay, that was fine. I was trying to use my quick blade for a second there too, because I thought the quick blade of flaming might do something against a, a nice fiend. It might have been wishful thinking. And here comes just like a bunch of guys, right? <laughs> I'm tabbing them. I don't know if they care too much. Let's try warp weapon here. Warp weapon is great. And I am sort of consistently running out of magic sometimes. I mean, if I have to eat spam airstrike like that, obviously. So it's nice to have a couple potion. I got one potion of magic here. I guess I could use that. I think I ditched a couple of them. So yeah, this definitely seems like something in here, right? Definitely something. There's multiple rune doors blocking the way in. I like to clear out the perimeter first. And then we'll investigate. If nothing else, we can just disperse these people. I mean, if there's a rune door in here or a pan, pan warden here, we might be able to just disperse them. So in fact, let's throw up our buffs preemptively. Now we'll open the door. What's inside? Probably a pan lord, right? Oh, okay. So it was just a bunch of guys. Got missed by the bolt of cold, and we didn't even get any sort of stealth bonus or anything like that. Well, interesting. I really don't feel comfortable with this situation, do you? I could just try to warp him away, but with an ice fiend in the midst, I don't feel... I, I'd rather fight a panel or one-on-one. -on -one. I think we're going to just control blink away. Oh, look, he's got crazy, like, color warping, too. I really don't trust that. Who knows what sort of chaotic bric-a-brac he's going to throw at us. We'll run over here. Hopefully they don't know which way we went. <laughs> and we'll just jump through here. Perfect. Ah, brimstone fiend again. And a, a cherub? Wait, what, what, what's going on? 
What is this? What is cra what is going on? Are you guys seeing this? Is this angels versus demons world? Are the angels not gonna fight the demons, right? Is this like some bizarre version of, of like the angel realm where it's like the angels are fighting the demons in like a hellish invasion of heaven or vice versa? And then, you know, Xam is over here just residing over the whole thing. These demonic plants remind me of the abyss, actually. Really, the only time I've seen these demonic plants before is when you get the corrupted version of the uh, ecumenical temple, which is taken over by Lugonu. So I wonder if Lugonu has a hand in this. Maybe some corruption in the abyss warped, you know, the heavenly and hellish planes together. And, uh, I don't know. This is really interesting, though. I feel like I should set, head up towards these demonic plants, though, and away from these guys. Like, I don't want to fight this brimstone fiend unless I have to. This is just like disco hall. Okay, it's a disco hall. It's a disco hall. We found the demonic disco hall. <laughs> okay, so this is much more hilarious than I ever could have anticipated. Are you guys seeing this? Oh man. This is awesome. So I don't know if there's actually a rune in here. Found an alarm trap. Yeah, definitely want to alert people if there's somebody joining the disco. Whoa! Okay, a bunch of uh, demon spawns in the wing over here. Let's see if we get the stab, though. Get a couple of stabs. Got the blood saint. Got another stab. Got the torturous black sun. That was good. Okay, we got tons of stabs over here. This is good. All right, so we're just, just massacring the disco right here. Interesting. We blinked away. So I'm not sure <laughs> if there's a rune in there. I sort of want to still just investigate because how often do you see the, the pan disco? For me, personally, it's only been once. Yeah, once before, and that game was a win. So I... Okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. But, I mean, last time I remember... I remember seeing this last time. I found it in my Spriggan game. And... I assumed it was going to be a rune, just because of how ridiculous it is. But it seems to just sort of be like a fun time. Fun time experience. Like, yeah, there's another way out. There's a couple ways out, but... Am I really just going to jump out when there's a disco? I feel like we got to go back to the disco. Oh, no. Okay, he's making neck sex. <sighs> okay, well, we, we teleported over here anyway. That's fine. we got to get back to this disco. This is not heaven versus hell. This is just heaven and hell both want to go to the disco. This is heaven dancing with hell, maybe. That's how they'll resolve their differences, through the power of dance. Nice, got a quick stab on that quick demon with my quick blade. Okay, buffs up. Warp these guys about. We'll use dispersal if we have to and teleport some of them away. That's pretty much a great thing to do. Yeah, between Dispersal and Warp Weapon, we don't need Teleport Other anyway. Not that it would work against many of these magic immune demons. This works much better. Okay, nice. Yeah, we just gotta do this for a second. Check that out. And I mean, we still got our Umbra, so we can't even get the true effect, honestly. Yeah, but I mean, you see how awesome it is. <laughs> We're still just, like, wreathed in shadow. Oh, a Hell Sentinel. Aww. Did I really want to fight a Hell Sentinel? I think we can outrun this guy. But I think maybe we can get him with a Rod of, an, of Inaccuracy, too. Let's try. Hit him, hit him. Almost dead. How about a couple airstrikes? It hurts. It really does. I really want to just kill you. Um, blink away. Let's just, yeah, let's cast Control Blink. Over here. And then just get a couple, like one or, yeah, we got the, okay. So we killed the Hell Sentinel. That was pretty cool. I, I actually read somewhere that Rod of Inaccuracy was a pretty good use against Hell Sentinels. That's part of the reason I've been carrying it around. And sure, maybe we should get some, yeah, let's get the Rod of Shadows. Let's get some, uh, some disco dancing dudes here. Yeah, we got a Fire Giant and a Tengu Reaver. Okay, well that's going to be uh, who's going to be joining us on the dance floor. But that's pretty cool. At least we got some backup dancers. Nice. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. Ah. Oh no, it's IBF. Come on.
dance off. <laughs> IVF, you versus me right now. Show me your moves. All right, well, what are we gonna do? Um, the rod of clouds is is an option. I don't know how well that's gonna work. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is just get the the lantern of shadows going right now, and we'll sort of run away. <laughs> just get some. Whoa! What happened? Do you see that? Uh, there was an earth-shattering force. All right, so they. You hear a low. I hear a low, like the low of a a cat a cow. Does that mean there's like a divine thing around, like a divine cow? That's the only thing I can think of that's like a cow in this game. Or like a yak, I guess, but I never heard them low before. Uh, okay, well, whatever. I don't even know what that means. Let's uh, just leave. Let's, let's control blink up here. Yeah, and try to try to make a little bit of an escape. We've got some shadows building up. That's pretty cool. Oh, I believe can see us down there, though. Oh, no, he, he came up here. Get him, and don't don't cast uh, Shatter again. How much damage did that do? It did, like, 100 damage. I sort of feel like I need to just heal wounds first. Okay. Let's let's try this. Let's, let's try to warp him. Why don't you go to the Abyss? Let's get up... Uh, oh, I don't have enough magic to do anything else. So, oh! Oh, Space Warp's probably around me. Space Warp's probably around you. Okay, so this is unfortunate. He has got some powerful abilities. This guy is, is a tough, tough customer. He can cast Shatter. Alright, you know what? It's time for a teleport. Time for a Blink as well. Yeah, Blink away here. I guess I could try to throw a throw net at him. How big are you? He's got a slender body with sparrow-like wings and the head of a rhino. Okay. Well, that's a little strange. Hmm. You resistant to poison? <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Okay, well, I don't like this at all. Um, let's just quaff one more heal wounds. That'll free up a spot anyway. Good, we teleported over here. And there's a cherub again. I guess we can take out a cherub, right? I wish I had a little bit more magic here. It's sure, Blade. I can't hit this guy. Okay, or maybe he's just tougher than I expected. <laughs> Alright, we can take him, though, right? He's not doing any damage to us, either. He's just a cherub. Well, he's a Valentine's Day guy. Oh, he's got a jeweled leather armor. You don't say. Well, I guess we should check that out, huh? I mean, maybe it was pretty good if it was resisting our wiles like that. Oh, it's not very good. It's not as good as our thing. We like Ufuthrus way more, and just in case we run into like a Caustic Shrike level of pan or something stupid like that, then we'll be ready. Alright, I don't even know if it's worth going back to the pan floor, or to the disco floor. I sort of feel like I don't want to fight that guy anymore. I think I'll just... I feel very sick. What happened? How did I get so hurt? The Reaper hit me with a lot of damage? I got to not make sure that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, why don't you just disappear or die? One or the other. Okay, please. Please. Okay, we'll just teleport over here. I guess that works. Airstrike, 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 airstrike. Get down here and kill him. He's almost dead, but then he disappears. And there's shadow demons. Oh, man. Okay, so let's just, like, leave again. And he's going to smite us. These summon, they're going to summon guys. They're going to smite us. Man, I remember why Pan is so annoying. Here's a soul eater. He's going to drain the energy. Fortunately, we don't care too much about that. We have nine magic now, so we can afford a controlled blink over to get sort of out of here. And there's a Reaper over there, though. He's pretty fast. We're going to get out of here, though. Before what's-his-name shows back up. And John Travolta. <sighs> All right, so that was fun, but not productive. I'm glad we saw it. I'm glad we had that shared experience right there. I sort of wish I'd emerge more triumphantly, but you know, you gotta know when to fold them sometimes. And if there's not gonna be a rune in it for me, then uh, what's the point, honestly? Okay, I really thought I could get close enough for that stab. 
Oh no, something shouting at me. So there's a panel over back there, and unfortunately that ice fiend did a number on us, didn't he? Let's back off way up here where an ice fiend can never ever find us. And if we have to like teleport away, we will. Definitely we will. I don't like getting tormented. I really wish I didn't get tormented so much. But I don't know what else to do about it. Yeah, you guys come in here. Okay, we'll blink out here. I was sort of hoping to stay more in the relative safety of that box. Let's try this box. This is why we really need a cure mutation. Let's get a cure mutation, and we can drink our potion of beneficial mutation, and we can go and buy that other potion of beneficial mutation. And maybe we'll be, like, amazingly cool. Maybe not, though. There's a potion of heal wounds. We can, we can get behind that. Demonic crawler. Get out of here. <sighs> All right. So that was not too bad, I guess. We can always just teleport those fiends away. You know, let's remember that. If there's somebody we don't want to fight, let's just not fight them. Maybe I should have dispersed... What's his name? That's one way to win a, a dance-off. Is just teleport him off the dance floor. That counts as a, a victory on a technicality. Dance-offs are a little bit like sumo wrestling. <laughs> First person to leave the dance floor loses. You know. And there's more rules than that, of course. You know, it's capable, you're possible to win just by completely outclassing your opponent. In a finite amount of time as well. Okay, it's Hekewek. Heike, Heike, Heikewek. Heikewek. And he is here, and uh, he's very resistant to fire and cold, resistant to electricity and poison, can see invisible, is large. But he's only listed as yellow in the threadometer, which is encouraging. I feel like that means we can take him. Let's throw up our buffs. He's summoning uh, green deaths, but that's not a problem. He just disappeared. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about the, the distortion. You never know if it's going to just not do what you want it to. It's still it's still distorting, though. Yeah, okay. How about airstrikes? Can you fly? No. Okay. Shroud falls apart. So that's okay. I'm not too concerned yet. Throw up another shroud. Why not? Oh, what? He just hit me for a lot of damage. Uh, how about airstrikes a couple of times? Airstrike is working. Make sure that I still got my distortion blade. Severely wounded. Yeah, why don't you die a little bit? Yeah, you continue to die. And then airstrike to finish him off. Airstrike to finish him off. Airstrike to finish him off. Oh, come on. How many airstrikes is necessary? All right, um... I don't know, rod of rod of shadows to finish him off. Get him springing. Get him. What was that? Iron dragon. That's pretty cool. All right, and then we'll save up for an airstrike. Take care of these real guys up here. I sort of like having these summoned green deaths as a buffer between me and Heikovec. Heikovec, get over here so I can just kill you, please. You know. All right. Something needs to give. And that something is you, Heikovec. One more airstrike here. You're almost dead. Oh, there's an ice fiend coming? No. <sighs> Crap. Ice fiend I did not count on. And we're out of magic. I'm going to quaff my one potion of magic. Let's do it. Quaff magic. Hikawake died. Okay, he's summoned. He's not. So I'm gonna just leave. Let's let's get away from this ice fiend. Jump down over here. That other ice fiend is nothing. That other ice fiend is going back to some other region of pandemonium or something like that. To do whatever ice fiends do. Alright, so we took out the panel on this floor. He didn't seem that tough though. I don't know what the odds are that he actually would have been guarding anything. Where was he? Where did he come from? Was he up here? Here's a book. How about like deflect missiles or something? What are the odds? Get rid of this. these fellows. What's going on here? Ooh, a chunky leather bound book. Well, that sounds a little gross. What kind of book is chunky? Beyond my ground level. Well, I'll see about that. Yeah, Book of Annihilation is not our style, but I'm glad we know about it. 
Scroll of Amnesia. Hmm. So is this an opportunity to just forget Grail's, Gail's Gravitas? Let's be realistic here. Gail's Gravitas has never helped us before. We sort of want those spell levels. Let's just do it. Alright, sorry Gail's Gravitas. You need a buff. <laughs> Already you just need to invest in hexes if you actually want it to be worthwhile. Either way, it's not helping us out. I mean, I wouldn't trust myself to cast Gale's Gravitas in like a high gravitas situation here in, in Hell or Pan where we could actually die. Like, Hero could have come in handy. I immediately forget Gale's Gravitas and then I regret it. We could just jump out through there as well. I sort of just wanted to see if we could find uh, Sun Demons. We can just control Blink Away or whatever. I wanted to see if I could find the source of that pan lord because I thought it might be cool to see if he was guarding a rune or something. Oh, the ice fiend. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> so I guess we just, I don't know, teleport or something. Let's just teleport away from here. We're sort of trapped in a corner. I don't like it. Yeah, here's a way out too. You die. You die. Good. I can rest up for like a second. Might as well rest up before I jump in through here if there's no immediate threats. You don't count as an immediate threat, Green Death. Just wander away, please. Yeah, I can take you out in one second. Oh, he disappeared. Boo on that. Shouldn't have cast Warp Weapon, honestly. Uh, Rod of Shadows, I don't know. Yeah, go get him, Stone Giant. Okay, fine. I'm just jumping through the portal then. If you're gonna be like that. Cool. Alright, you're dead. Let's eat up a little bit. Let's see what this book is all about. Book of the Tempest, we know that. How close are we to learning Tornado? Tornado, 93%. That's amazing. I did not really know that we were getting getting close to there. So, okay, maybe maybe we could go Tornado. Maybe we could get Tornado Singularity at some point. I sort of wish I had it right now, but obviously that's not an option. You know, just as this, another source of, like, good neutral damage. Okay, it's not a trap we really don't want to deal with. Do you just want to get dispersed or something? Can we just, like, disperse? Alright, let's, let's throw up the buffs, but then if there's too many people, we'll just disperse them. Okay, I mean, we're fine right now, right? Killed you. There's a bunch of demon spawns over there. I guess that means Rod of Clouds. Yeah, this is Rod of Clouds territory for sure. Back off one space. See if we can get all of these guys up in here. Acid. Oh, yes. That's a really good one. I love that Acidic Fog. That's an amazing addition to the, to the uh, Rod of Clouds there. Uh, he made an avatar or whatever, but... I feel like these guys are going to just go down pretty quick. Phase out of reality for one second. Yep, we haven't even gotten any sort of nasty demon spawn business coming out on us. How about a couple airstrikes on you? You're almost dead. You're dead now. Good. You're dead now as well. We somehow lost wizardry. And our magic is ruined. Okay, I guess that's a problem. But you're also standing in an acidic fog. So therefore, yeah. It's really funny. Actually, that's about the most amazing coincidence in the world. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, it's not a coincidence. I mean, it's just some... Well, I guess it is a coincidence. When I was much younger and sillier, me and my friends invented a game called Tripartite the Acid Fog. It was back when we were in middle school or high school. It was a very silly game. It was similar to Foursquare, but it had a lot of crazy rules. And, uh, yeah. I actually just... Un the reason I'm thinking about it is because I just... As I was moving, I was uncovering, like, a lot of old stuff, obviously, that you hadn't seen in a while. And uh, I dug it up in the closet. I dug up through some of my old papers. I found the, like, the, the original paper where we had written the rules of Tripartite, the Acid Fog, and all the various sort of sub-rules that you could institute if you had the, the, the ruling position. It was similar to Foursquare in that regard. It had other rules, like you'd use tennis rackets and stuff like that. But, <laughs> in any case, uh, it was pretty cool. Amulet Regeneration, our amulet is really good. It's our only source of cold resistance right now. 
I would love to have the regeneration, don't get me wrong. But also, I would love to have our awesome amulet. Oh, man. No luck so far here finding anything interesting. Keep on trucking. No. Okay. Found an ominously black robe. Where was that exactly? Or did I miss that? Oh, there, there it is. I could get behind an ominously black robe, but, you know, we'd have to be able to check... Check it out here. Nope, pretty terrible. Ominous indeed. Alright, here we go. Just keep on going. How about we find something interesting? Not really. Scroll of fear? No. Another file of floods? I'd rather have another file of floods. Maybe I shouldn't forget about those either, right? I'm really good at evoking them. I am a professional evocator. Evocator. I kind of like evocator. But, you know, that, that has a, a different con uh, connotation, doesn't it? Evocateur. I don't even know what that means exactly, but I, I don't think it means what I think it means. Alright, I don't like this. Let's just disperse all these guys. Disperse. <laughs> That's amazing. I really should use that more often. Get into a bad spot. Hey, you guys. Stop crowding me. Disperse. Alright. Back on away. Back on away. Oh, it's Tormentor. Let's let's get away. Let's get away. Cool. Uh, you can quit quiet crowding me too. I'll disperse you if I have to. I've done it before. Cool. We got interesting sort of things up here going on. I hope that Tormentor didn't find us. But I sort of like this sort of uh, configuration here. I wonder if there's going to be more sort of hallways coming up. Okay. Um, let's airstrike you a couple of times. Come on. Oh, no. I, okay. I got to be able to, to, to deal with this. Let's just heal wounds right now. And then airstrike a couple more times. Okay, one more airstrike, please. Okay, wow, that airstrike was pretty tough. Or that Tormentor was pretty tough. I thought the last airstrike we found was pretty squishy, right? The, the Tormentor in the Abyss went down much more smoothly than that. But interesting. I wonder if they were going to find a continuation of the symmetrical pattern up here with sleeping foes and possibly a pan lord up in front. Yeah, two of these guys. But maybe we can get a stab on them. We did. We got a bread ration, which we'll eat right now. Okay, so this leads me to believe that there's something interesting coming up. Ways out, at least. Monstrous Blood Saint really needs to go. Oh, but he didn't, of course. So let's just get the Rod of Clouds going here. What was it? Oh, a Blast of Thunder. Very cool. Smoke Demon went down immediately. Monstrous Blood Saint really should. He's a... Uh, doing what? What is he doing? Is he worshiping Machleb or something? Throwing fireballs at us? Well, you could pick some better things to do because I'm basically immune to fire. Okay, yeah, why don't you get... Okay, this is what I expected. It's Corpno. Corpno. Coming around. What's your deal, Corpno? Your spiked body and the head of a mouse. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. I think that means, well, what what kind of resistances do you have or whatever? Resistant to poison, very resistant to fire and cold. This blood saint is gonna standing in thunder still. So let's try a couple of rods here. Let's get the rod of clouds up again on Corypno, see if that helps at all. More thunder. That's interesting. Okay, that's probably pretty good. And now let's get out back our things, put up our buffs. Buffs. All right, and at the very least, you can get teleported away or whatever. He disappears. Yeah, right? So if you want, you can just continue to not exist. <laughs> right? Oh, wow. Well, do you want to, like, get over here? Stop it. All right, well, yeah, this is a waste. Let's, let's go over here. Okay, I can't. No. No. Alright, well, I wish I could walk through this thunder. My magic feels tainted. Stop tainting me. That's rude. I'm going over here. You just can't walk up and taint people like that. 
Oh man, okay, well we teleported back here, but at least we know where we are. We'll get up here in a second. Hmm. Okay, yeah, make sure that we're dealing with these people as we can. Yeah, you're devoured, you should get devoured as well. There we go. Alright, so we found the way out. And with maybe... No, we don't need a plain deck of cards. Maybe with some luck there's a rune up here? What do you think? Ice Devil. Is this really where, like, Corypno was hanging out? Aw, oh, man. Well, oh, what happened? What happened? <sighs> okay, there's no rune over here. Who are we getting? We're getting away from that. Well, it's just... It's just an executioner. But there's no rune over here. Okay. Nothing interesting. We'll leave. Nothing interesting. Well, what do you think? Oh, is this Hellion Island? <gasps> it's Hellion Island. Is it Hellion Island? <laughs> it looked like Hellion Island to me. Oh, no, it's Janax, though. How do we deal with Janax? What's your deal? Dangerous resistance, got diabolical powers. It seems uncertain. It has a tentacled body with large, powerful wings and snakes for hair. It seems uncertain. Why do you seem uncertain? Is that a clue? Does that mean he's got some sort of distortion effect, or does that mean that he has maybe... He's guarding the pan rune? Considering that there is Hellion Island right over there. I mean, Hellion Island is sort of its own challenge. I'd like to be able to fight this guy behind the cover here. This is a pretty good geometry for dealing with Hellion Island. Maybe. But we gotta deal with Jinax first. So let's try to get the uh, shadows. Let's try to get some friends. That was a good one. We got the Air Mage. Jinax says, Beg for mercy, thou feeble, hell-hated pudgelet. Alright, so we've got some friends. We've got some buffs. And now I'm ready to, to fight. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm cast into the abyss. <laughs> so, as I predicted, he does have some sort of distortion effect. Maybe that was a clue when it said he was feeling a little bit uncertain. But I think I should be able to just jump right out, ideally. Just because I have the Abyssal Rune, so I think that something should appear pretty quickly. Let's try not to get paralyzed by these guys. I'm trying to keep them under control. Okay, we're fine. Destroyed the Starker's Mass. Tentacled Star Spawn, I'd rather not fight. Yeah, the Abyss is rather crowded nowadays. Because we've cast so many people into it. <laughs> Alright, let's just wait here for a second. I don't like this crazy door. Come on, just, just hang out here for a second. Yeah, purple draconian, there's no way that's natural. That's part of the great draconian immigration of my voyage through Zot 5. I sort of forcibly relocated them, honestly. Wasn't exactly a voluntary immigration. But I'm glad to see they're thriving here. <laughs> Come on, I've got the rune. Give me a break here, I was trying to fight Jinax over there. No, Imp, Plant, Iodolon, yeah, look, all this stuff. This is stuff that we've seen before. This is funny. Oh, look, an anti-magic short sword. <laughs> we'll just try to cast it deeper to the abyss. I mean, I, I'm 90% I'm sure this is stuff that we've just thrown in ourselves. Which I love. I absolutely love it. We might be single-handedly re be responsible for, like, restructuring the abyss and possibly causing its collapse. This is a weird sort of fountain area. Uh, Wretched Star, no, please, no, not that. Anti-Magic Short Sword again. What was going on here? So I, I don't remember sending any elves to the abyss. There's a lich. I'd love to just like leave this area. Nice, that was good. Let's fly just to sort of be able to elude anybody who... Okay, we're getting the... Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting all sorts of horrible things going on here. I feel... Oh, I feel so terrible. I gotta put on Resist Mutation right now.
Okay, yeah, d destroy something. I gotta destroy a couple things just to get back up to fighting form. Like, now I can't even fight Janax, because I'm feeling so terrible. Hmm, that was an unfortunate turn of events. We can fight an ugly thing, though. Okay, come on, Janax. This is not supposed to be an Abyss video. We did that already. We are specifically avoiding coming back to the Abyss. And also, Abyssal Rune, start doing something. Show me the way out. Alright, time to just destroy everybody. Just tab, tab them until they die. I'm just in tab mode right now. Why am I angry? What happened? I went berserk. <laughs> okay, I guess I, I, am, I guess I'm angry. I, I, I can't argue with that. I mean, I didn't realize it was going to make me go angry in-game. Oh, I see. It's probably a transient mutation. There we go. So, we lost some of our transient mutations. Yeah, we're passed out and slow, but that's okay. Good. Good. Alright, so we're almost back to normal. We're just down a little bit of magical capacity, but that'll be fixed in one second. Great. We do have the Abyssal Rune, right? What's going on here? to a different region. Yeah, with a Tenku Reaver. Oh, who I almost got a stab on, but not. Auto-explore. Auto-exploring in the Abyss is a bad idea, but it's like, I don't care. I just want to find the way out. Dry Fountain? Who cares? Just, just get me out of here. Hmm. Ugly things. Who cares? Potion of Curing, that's actually pretty cool. Like, I don't get it. Did Jinax send me just, like, some weird alternate version of the Abyss that he, like, created or something? Is Jinax, like, the most powerful translocator in the game? Hell Knight's here. Hell Missiles. Yeah, Warp Blade. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let me take out these folks. I really just want to leave. There we go, here's a way out. Life force feels restored. Good. I'd like to be able to fight him. I'd like to have some magic when I when I leave, though. So let's just do this. Good. Corruption is gone. Unfortunately, this tentacled monstrosity is not. Look, you guys want to come and fight me? I'll fight. I don't want to fight for too long, because I don't want to miss the boat on here. You know, I mean... Let's eat a meat ration... Alright, we got some magic. We'll pick up this gold over here. Okay. And now let's jump out here. Janax, are you even still around? Yes. <laughs> okay, fine. I'd love to send you to the Abyss. Teach you a little bit. Give you a taste of your own medicine. Let's disperse you first of all. So that's capital D, right? Capital Disperse. Now I get the Rod of Shadows. I got some Hell Knights. Cool. The Hell Knights that I... And a, Hell, a Necromancer. One more time while I got it out. Boulder Beetle. Okay. Now we'll get out this. Get up this. Try to dodge any more attempts to send me to the Abyss. Here's a Shining Eye, which makes me glad that I do have my Resist Mutation still on. That's Summon for sure, right? Yeah, he's got the Summon Eyeball spell like Nolik. That's pretty interesting. Janax died. Thank you. Good. All right, so Janax is dead. Good. That was a little bit annoying, but we are going to get a rune this video, assuming we don't die. And that's what I would like to do, because that's a good thing to do in a video, right? That's what I was hoping to do. We haven't gotten a rune in a little while, and it's definitely, you know, we're going to be getting runes at a relatively rapid pace, assuming that Pan is kind to us. Oh, well. Take care of the summoner. There we go. Oh no! Okay, it's not too bad. I do need to desperately need to get Cure Mutation. But good. Alright, yeah. And I mean, I honestly sort of prefer it this way. I sort of like it when you get the Pan Rune first. Or the Demonic Rune first, you know? Because that way... You don't have to worry about it. That way you can just continue, like, jump through the, the gates carefree. And just wait until you find one of the special ones. So how are we going to do this, though? 
We could try to disperse them a couple of times. We could try to airstrike them. There's a lot of mist and smoke. I guess we do need to make sure that everybody else is dead here. Good. You go to the abyss. Can we airstrike one at a time? All right. What if I airstrike you? Airstrike you. Airstrike you. Okay. So here, I think here I can only see one spot of Hellion Islands. So this is great, right? Take them out a couple at a time. One more, maybe. Airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. Okay, that's a great spot. Let's make sure that this blizzard demon doesn't cause any trouble. Put on our uh, good amulet here. Yeah, there we go. I guess I should consider going berserk more often, too. Like, if I ever found, like, a, a pan... Yeah, that's actually a, a way I could deal with pan lords. I got all sorts of tricks up my sleeve that I sort of forgot about. Yeah, revoke berserk rage with my, my quick blade could be the way to deal with with pan pan lords like Cerebov or something like that. Or not. <laughs> Good. Alright, this is great. Let's go back up to our spot. Where was it exactly? Shadow Fiend. No, that's not that's not what I want. Shadow Fiends. <laughs> Do you want to leave me alone? Okay, no, he doesn't. You guys get over here. Alright, come on. Buffs up. You get out of here. Berserk against this guy or something could be good. He doesn't actually fly, though, so... I'm hoping he doesn't really remember us. I gotta find my good spot here. Where was my good spot? There's a Hellion. Oh, no. Okay, so this is not the spot. <laughs> Step away. Step away. Step away. I don't mean... Okay, we're getting massively spammed here. Okay, I don't like this. Let's just step away. Let's try again. That was obviously a bad approach. I should have made a better note about where that spot was. Or maybe the Hellions, there's just fewer of them now, so they're not as dense. They're not they're just not wandering around as much. Fire is not exactly what I wanted to see against these guys, but that's okay. I could disperse them if I need to, but I think I can take them. Or disperse them, you know, peripherally using my warped weapon. Fine. Fine. Okay, Hellion over there. I think we can take out that Hellion, though. This is a pretty good spot. Right? So maybe here's a good spot, too. Don't Hellfire me so much, man. Okay. Orbs of electricity and stuff happening. Let's just leave, though. Let's go down here. We don't like being surrounded. Get out the Rod of Shadows and get up a couple guys. Stone Giant, sure. Whoa, electricity happening. Who's doing that? <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's weird. If you want to stop doing that sometime soon, I, I would appreciate that, I guess. Good. Thank you, Mr. Stone Giant. That was pretty nice. Shadow Fiend over there, though. Um, Do you want to, like, not be here for a second, please? Shadow Fiend, man, can these guys fly? I can fly magically it can. Don't have any potions of magic anymore, which I regret. Yeah, because he could torture us in a second. Why you gotta be here? Why are you doing this to me? Bolt the cold? We don't have that much cold resistance either. I guess it might be time for a teleport. Let's just teleport. I feel like I've taken out enough of the level that a teleport could be okay. Or we could end up next to two brimstone feeds. Much, much worse. Alright, so let's just teleport. Where was the direction of Hellion Islands? Way back there. So, let's control blink over here. Down here, away from these brimstone fiends. As far away as we can go. Ah. <sighs> All right, at least there's no fiends. Well, there were no fiends. We're fine, though. Something smites me. Okay, this is not fun. I could quaff. I don't have any more potions of heal wounds. But now I'm in red territory. We gotta just evoke heal wounds. That worked. We're getting smitten some more. There's just tons of these smoke demons. Something spikes me, something spikes me. Whoa. Ah, ah. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I wanted to use another controlled blink. 
Let's do it now. I'm also on fire. Covered in liquid flames. Yeah, I get it. It doesn't hurt that much. Back off here for a second. Okay, at least that way they can... If they want to come fight me, they can come fight me one at a time. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to fight you, man. Blink over here. Okay, this is fine. We're in a good spot. Running out of food, though. I hope I can fund a shop and pan. Okay, wait, but here's the, here's Hellion Island again. So we can fight a little bit over here. Stop smiting me. I'm so serious. If you don't smite me right now, or if you don't stop smiting me, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, another Shadow Fiend. Why are these Shadow Fiends such a thorn in my side? I don't want to teleport up there because it could be in range of the Hellions. Let's just jump up here. Wizard Demon. There's just too too many too many demons. <laughs> it's just too many demons. I, I can't I can't right now. Shadow trap? No. Okay. Can we take out that smoke Oh I can kill the smoke demon with one airstrike sometimes. Maybe I shouldn't have been a little bit more aware of that. Not that time. We still got a warp weapon going on, though. This is fine. Hellwing is dead. You guys can all just die, please. Okay. Killed them. Killed them. Hellion over there. Okay, so this is not a bad spot to be. Well. I guess. Good. Good. Alright, no fiends, please. How about no fiends for just a, a hot minute? Don't step in that shadow trap. Okay, good. We killed him just in time. Nobody step in that shadow trap. Smoke demon. I don't like smoke demons. They cause problems. Hell wings do not cause as many problems, but he's going to step in a shadow trap and cause an enormous number of problems. <sighs> time for another teleport? Really? Otherwise, we're just going to get smitten. Next time I get an airstrike, I'll try. Oh, the shadow trap is still there? Okay, well, now we're teleporting away again. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Back away. I don't want to get smitten anymore. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know how that guy fo followed me. Brimstone Fiend can please kindly go away. Okay. <laughs> All right, new plan. I'm going to use my last teleport, but I'm going to cast teleport control first. What do you think about that? Don't torment me. Please don't torment me. Don't throw hellfire either. I really don't want to die. One more heal wounds, but then I got to recharge it. Okay. So let's go back down here. I really like being down here in this corner. All right. We can go down here. I think we've guaranteed pretty much to land safely. But there's a shadow fiend. Oh, I forgot about the shadow fiend. All right. We still have our distortion up. How big are you? It is large, but is it, like, very large? Is it possible that I could get... I just want... Yeah, okay, I could... I should just disperse those guys if I'm having problems. I, I totally forget about this. Alright, yeah, I can, I can just make these guys go away. Rust Devil. I don't even know what a Rust Devil is. Do I want to know what a Rust Devil is? Let's get up our evasion. Let's get up our distortion. And we'll make that guy go away. Good. Good. Everybody just leave me alone. I can't handle it right now. Alright, I think we're almost ready. I think if we get a good angle, we might just be able to also just apport the rune off Hellion Island. If we kill off enough of them that we can get a good, good view on it. Just get a vantage point. That's all we need. Here comes a bunch more guys. Alright, you get airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. 
airstrike, airstrike, good, and then you all can go away. Okay, two hellions up there. Fine. Good. Come on. All right. So where can I fight the hellions? There's a couple of good spots. I'd rather not fight more than one at once. Here's one. All right, I can see that one. Can I kill you though? Okay, and now I can't. Back off. Yours not wounded, but I only see one of you. I like that. This is something. All right, progress. Kill off the Hellions. Okay. Fortunately, I ran out of magic. Smoke Demon, you need to die just as much. Okay. <laughs> Weird teleport. I don't like having Blink Guidance around Hellion Island. I feel like we got most of it, right? No Smoke Demons on Hellion Island either. This is Hellion Island. It's not Smoke Demon Island. Get your own islands. Okay. Smoke Demons. Why are there so many Smoke Demons? I hate this level of pan. Okay. Hellion. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Your time is over. Shadow Demon is going to summon some shadows, right? That's what they do. That's why everybody hates you. Alright, good. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be tabbing in range of two Hellions. Good, good, you guys can leave. Good, all right, so this is this is something. We're almost done, we're almost done with Alien Island. And then that's the tough part of, of Pan. Executioner, they just keep coming, don't they? Don't they? I'm glad, oh, he's, does he have, oh, I thought he had like a, distortion effect or something. I might have just blinked around a little bit. I feel odd for a moment because I think that Hellwing was trying to teleport me or something like that. Oh no, or possibly that Neck Except was trying to mutate me. We still only have that one malmutation, which I really do appreciate. The Halfling resistance to the mutation comes in handy, I feel like. We don't feel obligated to put on our resist mutation for every little thing. We can keep on our good amulet. Okay. Running a little lower on food than I would like. But I'm really glad we learned Controlled Blink. Stop that. You know the priorities. You take out the Hellions first. And in fact, with so many smoke demons around, I'd rather just retreat and do this safely. Okay, who, who did this? Summoned? Summoned by whom? Summoned? Summoned by whom? There Was it a shadow trap? Or something? Or a shadow demon. Oh, it's a shadow demon, right? Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see you. Why don't you come up here and fight? Don't have enough magic, but that's okay. I just have to work my way in. Rot of clouds or something? Get up here. Freezing vapors should do something. Very resistant to cold, unfortunately. Alright, well, leave then. He'll come up here eventually. One more time with the Rod of Clouds. Fire, that's something. Okay, yes, that worked. <sighs> Pandemonium, man. It is quite the place. It's a hell of a place. It's not as much of a hell of a place as hell is, but it's still, it tests your metal. Hellion, I saw you. I saw you there for a minute. Smoke Demon, I saw you too. Having this extra stealth is really, really nice. Being able to... Okay. Being in range of three Hellions is not... Being able to blink as we need to, controlled blink or otherwise, is really, really nice. Hellions. Whoa! There's still a lot of them. How about now? I just want to fight one at, one at a time. Come on up here. There you go. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. All right, so this is a good spot. Kill the Hellion. Maybe I can get one more. Hellion, one more blast. Didn't quite get him. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, nope. Back off. Back off. Good. 
Shadow Fiend again. Shadow Fiends. No, get him. Go away. All right, well, let's get shadows of our own then. You think you're a fiend? I got a lich. How do you feel about that? And a moth of wrath? Is that really what you want against a shadow fiend? I don't think they can go berserk. But okay, he's almost dead. Oh, iron shot got him. Great job. Oh, and he got distracted by the iron shot too. Well done. Well done, Mr. Witch. Oh, and I actually got a shifter here, which is kind of interesting. Shifting about. Okay, more of this, huh? And it's happening. Okay, so that's really bad. I hate brimstone fiends. I'm just going to get out of here. Control blink. Out of here. And then leave up here. Hide up here for a second. Nice. Nice. Come on. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this makes me frightened to think about if we ever play a Formic Kid game, not being able to blink or teleport at all, you know. Not being able to blink or teleport, you know, never mind controlled blink. Controlled blink is an amazing luxury. Fine, though. Oh, there's that Brimstone Fiend again. I bet a couple of good airstrikes. If we had, like, a full complement of magic, I would feel better about fighting a Brimstone Fiend. Obviously. Oh, okay, get out of here. No, 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 no. Just, just get out of here. We're gonna run. Summoners summoning summoners who are summoning other demons. It's not pretty. And again, where are these guys coming from? Caco demon? <laughs> I just want to get the rune and go home. Just let me leave. All right, let's leave here. I'm leaving. All these guys are you. You're summoned too, presumably. Yeah, by a shadow demon. I, I would assume you're summoned. You're summoned. All right, put on. Put on what? Warp weapon. And now we'll just disperse what we need to. Like, let's disperse right now. Oh, well, I, I don't have enough magic right now. We can take... Okay, whoops. You can go away. You can definitely go away. I feel odd for a moment. He's trying to mutate me. But I'd rather he didn't. You're dead. Okay. And this is, this is suddenly looking okay now. All these guys are, like, summoned, I'm sure, right? No. Never mind. All right. Well, next chance we get a dispersal, we'll cast it. I can attack really fast. I can deal out a lot of punishment really fast. A lot of these fives are summoned, I'm sure. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Dispersal. Get out of here. More warp weapon. We don't have warp weapon anymore. That's part of the problem. Okay, but we weathered the storm. We didn't need to teleport desperately. Let's not panic. You teleport desperately, you might end up on Hellion Island, get hit with three Hellion Hell shots at once, and then you're dead. <sighs> okay. Whoa. Or we could just teleport next to a Brimstone Fiend and get down to 43 health. Which, he could one-shot us. He, he could one-shot us right now. I have to heal. And then I have to control Blink. As far away as I can get. Let's go down. Oh, that's Hellion Island, though. I gotta go down, like, here. Dopey. Oh, thanks. And he's still trying. I always got scrolls blinking if I need them. But there's just demons everywhere. Like this. How outrageous is this? And we're feeling dopey by the second. This is a teleport. Alright, teleport. And heal wounds. Heal wounds. Try to get out of range of this brimstone fiend. And there's just more. It just keeps happening. Oh, man, this is driving me crazy, man. I was not expecting this video to be so long. I was expecting it to be like a nice little jaunt through, through Zot. 
or through hell, or through Pan. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my marbles here. Like, I can't take eight fiends at once. Where do we even end up? Way over here. Okay, well, I don't even know what to do. Our wand of heal wounds is almost empty. I feel like it's time to use a scroll of blinking. And just get over here. We're not leaving without the demonic rune. Mark my words. If any fiends notice us, we'll teleport again. Is that just a way out? Amazing. That's interesting, I guess. Time for one more teleport, because this teleport was awful. Getting smitten. Shadow fiends noticed us. Alright, so let's get out of here. One more blink. And something drained our magic. What is that? Ghost moths! <laughs> Please. What are you doing to me? Oh no, it's not even a good teleport. Keep it going. Keep rolling. Because there's a brimstone fiend here. He could hit us in a second. So let's just get up here. I'm just... I'm. I'm this is the worst thing that I've ever seen in my whole life. Teleport, and now I'd love to cast Control Teleport, but I can't because I don't have enough magic because I'm an idiot. Read recharging on this heal wounds immediately. Four charges, let's do that again. Because I might want to cast it right now. Okay, I feel okay about this. Back away down here, please. Just how many guys do there have to be? Honestly, tell me that. <clears throat> how many guys do there have to be? Disappear. Go away. Leave me alone. Alright. Maybe I have lost all my dungeon crawl skill. Maybe this game, maybe this uh, new place is, is bad luck for dungeon crawl. But I feel like we're okay. Those fives are not going to bother us. And the four is not so much either. I'm too injured to fight recklessly. But yeah, there's nothing here that's even going to hurt us. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Except for that, another smoke demon. If you smite me one more time, I swear, you're grounded. You're grounded, mister. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it, it never ends. I mean, I know Pandemonium is infinite, you know, but infinity is a bigger number than you think it is. It's sort of like not even a number, it's kind of a number. You know how infinity is, it's weird and mind-boggling. No. No. Bad Brimstone Fiend. Back off. Cast. Control the blink. I know there's another Brimstone Fiend over there! <laughs> So we just keep going. We keep using our heal wounds that we just charged up. Didn't help. Do it again. 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 Okay. Now we cast controlled blink. And get out of here. Two in a row if we have to. One's over there. And then again. One's up here. Fiends. We gotta get out of here, man. This is the worst place I've ever seen in Dungeon Crawl. I'm gonna do one more one more controlled blink, even if it contaminates us. Okay. Being followed by a bunch of threes and fours doesn't bother me too much. Just don't smite me too much more. Okay, let's jump up here. There's got to be someplace safe. To quote a random NPC from Fallout 3. Mm. 
man. He's trying to mutate us. I'm just trying to survive. We got us smitten some more. You're the one doing the smiting. Crimson Inch shouting at us. Okay. Oh, Shadow Demon here. Okay. Yeah, you should go. Because I'm sure you're summoning some of these guys, right? Not many. Not as many of them as I thought. Just so much damage here. Let's heal up again. I have to use all... I'm... <sighs> hallway? I mean, a hallway is not going to even help that much. At least I can kill that smoke demon back down to very low health. Alright. I'm beyond the point of talking or commentating. I'm just trying to survive here. And there's a shadow fiend. So that's not facilitating my situation. So we're going to leave again. back down there, but not in range of Hellions, please. Okay. We just gotta throw them off our tail a little bit. Hellwings over here. Can we just, like, not make a scene? <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid attention. I'm just trying to lie low for a minute. And these guys are not making it easy for me. Swarming all over me. Okay. Hellwings. Rakasha. I, I hate Rakashas. You want to just get cast to the abyss. Yeah, there you go. Well, he disappears. All three of them disappear. Can we hide down here yet? Is there some place? <laughs> Can I leave? I'm legitimately distressed, honestly. I just, I, I want to go home. Maybe Harrigan wasn't ready for these types of horrors. You know, he talks a big talk, but when you actually get down here into the into the thick things, it's a horrible, horrible place. I want to just leave. Okay, we're almost ready. Come on, can we can we fight these hellions and leave? I sort of feel like in the time that we spent trying to get this demonic rune, we could have just gone and gotten a different demonic rune. That was maybe a little bit less guarded, just by chance. But you know the RNG, the RNG will punish you if you try to do something like that. You know, the, oh, you don't want that demonic rune? I guess you don't want a demonic rune at all. Why don't you just never, ever find one again? Disperse. Boom. That was something. Although I, I'm not sure it actually helped. I was hoping more than would teleport. Please. Just, just die? Okay, Balrog over there just needs to die. There you go. you as well. I would appreciate it greatly if you would die and <laughs> stop smiting me. <laughs> Just anybody who can hit me from a distance, please don't. Sun Demon. Alright. So. No. No. Balrog hit me with a vampiric demon whip. For two exclamation points. I gotta heal up again. But I'm not happy about it. I'm really not. Alright, airstrike. Good. I gotta recharge this some more. I've only got four left. Seven charges. I really should prioritize the heal wounds because I can always just use my ring of teleportation if I were to plan it out better. Stop doing these things. Is a chaos champion. I'd prefer it if you left. Let's use a throwing net on you. That worked fine. I just wanted to avoid. Maybe I should be using more throwing nets. I only got two left, so I'm sort of trying to save them for special occasions. But I mean, what what am I waiting for? Corruption grows within me. Shadow demon again. Stop summoning some things. All right, and there's an orb of destruction coming to get me. That could, like, kill me right now. Let's take one step here. Can I afford to take another step? Let's control blink. Orb of destruction dissipates. Fine. Okay, good. Get rid of you. Get 
rid of you. You are going away. Thank you, please. I know my commentary is completely degenerated to nothing, to me just pleading with the random number, random number generator. I just don't know what to say. I'm just at the end of my rope here. Like, things were going so well. Remember when we had a disco party? Remember how lighthearted and fun that was? Now we're running out of food. We're probably going to starve to death here on Hellion Island. Things have really taken a turn for the worse. Day 218. The ice fiends continue to harass me. I fear for the worst. Day 386. Only 20% of the Hellions have been removed. I fear the demonic rune shall be ever outside of my grasp. By the way, <laughs> I'll mention this. Uh, you know, if you enjoy my... Okay. If you enjoy watching my videos, but sometimes you feel like they might be a little bit long, <laughs> and you just sort of want to catch the highlights, do you know that YouTube has a feature at the bottom where you can sort of like speed up the videos, it's like it speeds up the video, but it doesn't even make a chipmunk voice. It just sort of like makes it. If you play it at two times speed, you still get the same audio. It's just it's greatly sped up, which is extremely hilarious. You sort of sound like one of those guys, like you know, at the end of a radio commercial, who's like, you know, you know, terms and conditions may apply. You know, shipping and handling not included. You know, get it while supplies last. You know, call one eight hundred nine eight hundred and you get apples right now to get some apples. Uh, yeah, you know, the guy who says stuff really fast at the end of a commercial, and uh, it's pretty funny to hear the entire commentary like that. And, uh, you know, it's funny, it's amusing, maybe you can just condense it down, and then you can watch the exciting parts. But are we finally ready to make an approach on Hellion Island? There's the rune, I'm so glad to see it. Okay, let's not botch this. Kill the Hellion. Kill the Hellion. Kill the Hellion. How many of the Hellions are there still? There's still many more. Okay, it's okay though, because, mm-hmm, it's not that okay. I was just gonna apport the rune. Okay, we, we teleported onto Hellion Island. How many are left? Two? And a brimstone fiend, though. Okay, time to blink away. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, it's time to use another scroll of blinking. Jesus. Like, are you seeing... Are you seeing my tribulations here? Have you seen how many tribulations we have in the door? You know, Harrigan puts up with a lot. This is honestly discouraging me from going from a 15 run game. <laughs> but maybe we shouldn't shy away from it just because it's hard. You know, we still got plenty of resources. Let's not give up yet. Let's just, let's try to learn from this. Okay, can we apport this, this stupid thing? I can't see it, but I know it's there. Okay, get a little closer. It's up there, right? I could have tried to disperse those hellions or something, too. I can't see it, but I, I know it's there. Can I see it yet? Yes. Cast. Apportation. On the Rune of Zot. Yoink. Oh, man. Let's pick it up. I didn't even see what color it is. We gotta see what color it is first. Because I think they changed it, right? I remember it being a different color than that. I thought it was more like pink. It, it was flashing pink and stuff. But I remember saying that it looked a little bit too similar to the Magical Rune and the Abyssal Rune so I'm sort of glad they mixed up the, the rune colors here. So this one is now sort of blue and uh, cyan and, you know, greenish. Cool, and sort of brownish too? Maybe not. No, alright. And we pick it up and it flashes purple. Good. Fine. We are done with this area forever. Where's the nearest way out? There's a portal right there. Of course, it's on Hellion Island. I feel like let's just go there. No, no, no. Okay, um, cast. Controlled blink. I don't care if I get Hellfire here. Just go through. Thank you. Okay, this video is long over. I think you can tell. <laughs> but we got the rune. We got six runes. Of course, we jump in here and there's immediately an executioner to handle, but we'll do that next time. I've solved enough problems for right now and I gotta get ready for work. Anyway, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video turned out okay, even in the new place. I mean, obviously, all my uh, Pavlovian skill has been leached out, but we're working on building that up right now. Obviously, we're building those cues right now. So anyway, see you next time.